Okay, what do blues guitarists, singers, and fretless bass players have in common? Distinct personal vibrato. Um, so many things go into what your vibrato sounds like. Um, the size of your hands, the size of your fingertips, um, your general embouchure, how, how you hold the bass, um, how flexible your wrist is, um, how well you're able to relax your hand, fingertips. Um, I actually abandoned playing a lot of upright bass because I felt like the tips of my fingers were getting a bit hard and it was affecting just how I wanted to sing on the fretless. So um, all those things go into it. You know, Jaco Pastorius famously had double jointed thumbs so he could get a, a real incredible flatness on the neck. Um, I heard people even breaking their thumbs to try to sound like Jocko back, back when uh, you know, he was really revered. Um, still is, but I haven't heard of anybody breaking their thumbs recently. Um, so yeah, so your vibrato is really personal. I can tell a bass player, a fretless bass player, within a few notes who it is um, because of vibrato. So basically, you know, vibrato is just, with, there's fingertip vibrato. Um, ideally, your thumb is right behind your finger doing the vibrato. You can do it on every finger. And you'll notice that my hand moves a bit. Um, vibrato gets wider and wider and wider, and pretty much you're, and pretty soon you're moving your whole hand. And um, you're getting into, you know, intonation kind of territory as to being quote unquote out of tune or being sort of overly mushy. Um, there's an interesting phenomenon that if you do a fast enough wide vibrato, it kind of, at a certain point it sounds like one note with it, with that has uh, you can hear the wave but it, a fast enough vibrato sounds almost like one note, um, although it's an indistinct note. So, um, yeah, there's narrow vibrato and there's wide vibrato. And uh, one of the things to, that I'll do sometimes is just slur a whole phrase. You know, very expressive. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I really recommend everyone just almost get in a meditative mood. Really find, like, what is the speed of vibrato that feels best to you? And it may vary from day to day. It may vary from mood to mood. It may vary from song to song. But it's something that's really beautiful and really personal. Very intimate. You know, I feel, I, I never feel um, uh, more intimate with my instrument than when I'm finding a vibrato that just matches my, my heart in that moment. So, um, yeah, so play with it, explore it, become aware of it, and, um, yeah, and, and realize you can do it wider or, or narrower. All right.